15th Oniru of Iruland, His Royal Majesty, Oba Abdu Wasiyu Omogbola Olawa, Abisogun II. Enjoy it. It's a little over two months since the installation and handing over of the staff of office to the 15th Oniru of Iruland, His Royal Majesty Oba Abdul Wasiu Omogbolaho Lawal Abizogun II by the Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Sonwulu. Today there's another gathering in his honour, this time for the coronation reception held at the Palace of the Oniru. Guests make their way through this entrance where they are checked to ensure observance of all health and safety protocols. Inside the hall, the meet and greet is ongoing as they await the arrival of the special guests of honor. It's not for long though as they welcome the 15th Oniru of Iruland, His Royal Majesty Oba Abdul Wasiu Omogwala Lawal from the Abisogun ruling house. He's ushered into the arena alongside his wife, Olori Mariam. Last year, the palace was thrown into mourning following the passing of the 14th Oniru of Iruland, His Royal Majesty Obaido Abiodun Oniru. I'm 
نحمده ونشكره ونستغفره for everything that we will do here today that will be pleasing to Allah or writing in the books of our Mizan for everything that we are going to do here today that will not be totally pleasing to Allah forgive us Allahu Hayu Kayumu Aliyu Azimu الله لا إله إلا هو لا حج لك يوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض ما زال الذي يشفى عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين عيده وما خلفه قل بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فقلت استغفر ربكم إنه كان غفارا رسل السماء عليكم مدرارا ويمددكم بأموال وبنينا ويجعل لكم جنات ويجعل لكم هنئارا سبحان الله Irrespective of the COVID-19 pandemic, it's a colorful event both in terms of the outfits and the personalities at this occasion. Some of them include the Deputy Governor of Lagos, Mr. Afemi Hamzat, the owner of Ife, His Imperial Majesty, Obadiyeyi Ogunwusi, APC National Leader, Chief Bola Tinubu, Industrialist, Chief Razak Okoya and wife, Shade, Chairman of Doyin Group, Chief Samuel Adedoyi, the Ikate Legushi, Obasai de Legushi, Erelu of Lagos, Abiola Dosumu, wife of the Lagos State Governor, Dr. Ibujoke Sonwolu, Lagos White Cap Chiefs, among other important guests. Today begins another significant chapter in the annals of our beloved Hero Land, as well as my life's journey. This personally brings to my mind the complexity of life as espoused by the famous Gartnis when he said, and I quote, Does the worker choose the path, or the path the worker? End of quote. I am convinced that all these were in Allah's predetermined plans who makes us as pencils in his magnificent hands. I started from the palace, 1977 precisely, then went outside of Lagos from place to place, only to arrive back here, the palace, where I will remain until I join my ancestors. Oba Abdul Basiu Lawal became the 15th Onuru of Iruland after the state's executive council approved his selection months ago. Over the last 90 days since my official installation by the Lagos State Government, I have been inundated with an intense outpour of goodwill messages, prayers, expression of love from all parts of the world, for which I am eternally grateful. My deepest appreciation is to Almighty Allah. Today, I especially remember and celebrate the life of my father, late Chief Taurid Omobolaji Lawala Kapo, of Lagos, 1977 to 1993. The monarch is the immediate past Commissioner for Agriculture in Lagos State. He was nominated for the traditional stool by the Abisogun ruling house of the larger Oniru dynasty. The state government is optimistic that his reign will be peaceful and impactful. Two months ago, I had the honor and privilege of presenting the staff of office and the instrument of appointment to the 15th Oniru of Iru land, His Royal Majesty, Oba Abdulwasi Omogbola Olawa. Abisogun II, 
and today we are gathered here to celebrate with KBAC again. I'm quite pleased and happy to honor the royal invitation to this occasion. Again, I congratulate him on the ascension to the throne of his forefathers and wish him prosperous years. During the installation ceremony, I recall enjoining His Royal Majesty to strengthen the existing bond of unity within Iru land for the overall development of and peace and progress of this kingdom and Lagos state in general. Three months on the throne, I'm pleased to note that KBSC took this advice to act as exemplified by his very impressive actions characterized by wisdom, knowledge, and large heart addedness. My advice to all sons and daughters, as well as residents of Iru land, is to continue to start very firmly and united behind His Royal Majesty in order to advance the development and prosperity of this kingdom for the benefit of all. Obalawal was the ADC to the former governor of Lagos State, Chief Bola Tenumbu, who is present here with so many positive things to say about him. I'm very proud of you. I am very proud of the current the Oba we're celebrating today. The fact we started together, he endured a land, a listing, is caring, is very honest, is very reliable, very dynamic. He listened to training. That's why I'm here. Today, I say congratulations to Omar Bolaon and the entire family. We have seen justice done by the cabinet and ratified by the governor of Lagos State. We are seeing the direction of your thoughts. Not because of your education alone, but because of your character. The new Oniru promises to rule with justice and fairness, and as he continues to unite all the ruling houses towards the progress of the kingdom and the success of his kingship, he appeals to the people of the kingdom, as well as non-indigenous resident here, to join hands with him to achieve this.